All right, Shalom. If I get started, I want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Alulam Wealth. And peace and safety to the Yaakim that's out here pushing his word in truth and sincerity. So, um, I just want to do a quick lesson um, pertaining to this uh, this lesson that, the, that these two brothers went into earlier today, um, which is a great video. Uh, definitely uh, was sent around. Um, amongst our brothers here um, in Atlanta, but um, nevertheless, uh, the brother that you can see on the screen, which is uh, the camp leader of uh, the Charlotte GMS Charlotte camp, he was speaking on um, some things that happened to him and his uh, and his brother and the uh, fellow men um, Saturday, and I was and um, I wish I don't think that they they posted their um, their camp videos um, from Saturday yet, or I didn't see, I couldn't find the live stream if they went live. But um, nevertheless, um, if push comes to shove, it's nothing to add a link or whatever to it to this video later on down the line if, if need be. But the point is the point. Um, but the irony of it all is, is that the very thing that happened to them to a certain extent lose somewhat happened to us Saturday too. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you hear what this brother um this brother has to say and then I'm gonna show you what actually happened at our camp and show you that how um, it was almost like exactly the same thing. So just listen to a few seconds of what he's saying I'm gonna show you and then um I'm 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 gonna pull a few scriptures. Brother Yashua wanna say man like you know, Esau, Esau, this is this is how he's gonna he's gonna come at us, man. You know? So brothers just gotta be locked in at camp and be more uh, uh circumspect even more because prior to him leaving, all right, which and I'm we're gonna show more of the film and break it down and cut it up, but prior to him leaving the site after he made the remarks, no later than about five minutes later, ten minutes later, we were surrounded by like seven cops, seven cop cars. All right, they came out deep as hell too. And then you had some police that was riding bikes around the city. They were lined up. So it was almost probably about 15, 20 cops ready to, to basically jump on us if we was going to be rowdy and shit, man. But All right. the spirit. So he said, oh, oh, damn near 20 cop cars um, came round about them. Now, this is our camp video um, Saturday. All right. Hey, the virus. Yep. And it actually shows. The, how the population down, down that's why the major place that's always hit by diseases is Africa yep. they yep. always say Africa got hit with AIDS Ebola or somebody Just having sex with a monkey the black plague is out in Madagascar and it's spreading rapidly right now yeah. Yeah. What, what, makes you think, what makes you think the CDC doesn't have the black plague they, they got it what they do is, what, yeah, what these elites do is they run trial they do trial runs right. they, don't, they, they know that this is the main place that they're going to attack so they do little trial runs right. nobody cares Nobody really cares what's going on over there in Sierra Leone. Right? Let me fast forward a little bit. I'm not too far back. They got this whole Here we go. And so, it's going to come to the point where they're going to experiment. Well, they already do experiment. I just said it. Yep. Give an example. They experiment on humans. Yeah. You see? DJ they, Smalls was interviewing a... Uh, there we go. Hold on. There we go. All right. Here we go. It's actually making this successful. Uh, you can see it's a crap load of police. <laughs> and you heard what I, and I said, that was me, that's me speaking. I thought he was slowing up behind us. Yeah, I just said the same thing. Yeah, kind, kind. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but that's how it's going to be. It's really going to be like that. It's, it's going to become a time where they're going to roll up. But we ain't scared. You yeah. going to say, bro? I was going to say, most of these fucking eating white cops, man, with them same ones in high school getting their ass beat. Man. Yeah, yeah. You look at these motherfuckers, <laughs> they got a proud. 
proud ass look on their face, man. Uh -huh. And they got these suits on, and it made me remember I went into um, uh, uh, the sandwich place. Uh, with and the, uh, and in the video, which you can't see because we pan towards the, the brother speaking, is at the light they actually stopped the intersection. So there was a lot more cop cars actually at the intersection blocking the uh the intersection off. And um like I said it really wasn't even it was a concert that was coming you know several hours later, but I mean it was for for them to be rolling out like that it was like what the hell. So like I said this brother um testament on what happened Saturday at and Charlotte is the same exact thing that happened um, here, here with us. Okay, the same exact thing. You know, you had you had all the cop cars roll up, um, roll up behind us, and I'm and I wish I had the brothers, the, the brother. I wish I could have found their their their, their videos uh, where this was happening. Uh, but nevertheless, his word, his word is his word. So, you know, that's what happened, you know, and um, this, is, this is the truth. This is what time, this is what time is, is, is coming to. All right. The apostles um, from Apostle Tahar and, uh, you know, uh, Apostle Gabar and the elders, they've shared their stories uh, online and um, into most of us personally, where, you know, when 9-11 occurred, how the uh, police up there in Connecticut uh, surrounded the school and came for them. So, you know, it, it, we in those times, man, all right? And if you're not ready, if you in this thing and you're not ready for these things that are, that are, that are coming, then this is, this is the time to bow out, man, all right? Because we, we're living in, um, in serious matters, man, serious times, okay? All right, so I'm going to get a few scriptures. Um, I'm going to get a few scriptures. All right, let's get a few scriptures. Like I said, I just I've been working on something else that I just was like, nah, I want to do this real quick. Um, so I'm just don't got nothing necessarily lined up, but we gonna we gonna flow in the spirit. All right, first let's go to. Let's go to Sirach. As soon as it loads. So rock thirty seven tripping. All right, so let's go to Sirach 37 and 12, I believe. All right, let's start at 11. All right, this is Sirach 37 and 11. It says, Neither consult with a woman touching her of whom she is jealous, neither with a coward in a matter of war. And like I just said, if you win this thing and you just thought this thing was just going to be a, um, a powwow, all right, you know, uh, the He-Man woman haters group, and we were just gonna talk shit all the days and eat and eat uh eat eat chicken wings and right and get together and you know you always know brothers gonna have a nice bottle of liquor and some beer and wine and, and, and a few good laughs. All right, if you thought that this was all this was gonna be about, man, all right, this this is the time now, man. The time is now. Bow out, man, just quit. All right, because if you're not about this right now, you're not gonna be about it when when um Esau sends his uh his 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 minions out to uh possibly grab up certain camps and certain men. All right, like the brothers were saying in the video, which is an excellent video. I I, I definitely um uh, which oh, you know I'm gonna actually repost it myself on my page, but I admonish um men that, to watch this video. You know I haven't got a chance to finish it all, but it's definitely I mean up until the point that I got to. They've been bringing out some 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 amazing points, all right. But the point back to the the scripture, if you if if you are a coward, and I'm and and, and you're a coward right now, hey man, just 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 give it up, man. 
All right. So read that part again. It says neither with a coward, neither consult, neither with a coward in a matter of war, man. But all right, because this, you know, in the scriptures, it'll tell you, you know, if you got it was accounts um, where if you had certain men that were afraid to go to war. OK, that is it's better for them not to, to, to just stay back, man, because that's a that's a bad energy, man. It brings bad vibes, man. All right. We don't need no cowards on the battlefield, man. All right, you weaken the um, you weaken the formation with your spirit. All right, neither I'm gonna finish this off, but the, that was the point. But neither with a neither with a merchant concerning exchange, nor with a buyer or of selling, nor with an envious man of thankfulness, nor with an unmerciful man touching kindness, nor with the slothful for any work, um, nor with the hireling for a year. Of finishing work, nor with an idle servant of much business, hearken not unto them in any matters of counsel. All right, and that this is this the, the Lord is gathering judges, judges, prophets. That's a wise counsel. All right, and if the Lord is saying neither, if 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 if, if through the Spirit the Lord is saying neither, not, neither with a coward in a matter of war. A lot of you, you cowards, man, you just gotta you just gotta you know fade the black, man. All right. Now, if you if you know, being a, having certain amounts of fear in your spirit is natural. All right. But in that case, you know, the scriptures also tell us that the Lord gave us not the spirit of fear, man. All right. So you got to pray. You got to pray and you got to read the scriptures, man. All right. Because, you know, that's the only thing that's going to get you through these times that we're going through. All right. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding shall be the stability of thy time. OK. Verse 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou miscarry. Uh, miscarry, okay. Miscarriage, finish. All right. Um, let's go to um, my next scripture I want to go to. It's going to be um, Luke. Luke 14. Luke. Luke 14 and 28. Always an on point scripture right here. More so now than ever. All right, because you better um a lot of you men, you didn't you 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 didn't you didn't you didn't really re you didn't really think about what you signed up for. All right, uh, this is Luke 14 and um, 28. For which of you intend intending to build a tower, sit of not down first and and count the cost. Whether he have have sufficient to finish it, all right. A lot of you didn't count the cost, man. A lot of you just thought that that was just a bunch of hoobla when men were saying it's a possibility that that the police is gonna run up on us, the army, the military is gonna run up on us and throw us in prisons, man. All right, you just thought, oh, whatever, man. You know, you had a you had a imagine you already imagined, you know, how this was gonna go down. But now that it's getting real, and if you look at our video, not the not the boast, but you know, we moved in the spirit because, you know, us men, man, we we trust in the Lord, man. All right. We trust. We trust in the heavenly father. And, and you know, when you trust in the Lord, you put the pressure, you take the pressure off of you and you put it back on the Lord, man, because the Lord is not a, a man that he shall lie, man. If he said he was going to do these things, then by his word, he has to do these things. All right. So let's go to uh, real quick Psalms. I'm just moving fast, because like I said, I'm not making this a long video. I just wanted to show you the same thing that happened with them brothers happened with us to a certain extent we didn't have a guy come up with a camera but as far as all the police pulling up i was like damn that's crazy this is psalms 34 and 7 it says the angels of the lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them you see fear that fear him who is the him yahweh and his son through his son yahweh shot all right but if you look at us all right ain't no fear all right and they could have grabbed us up all right but we're not moving in we're not moving in the spirit of fear man because all we doing is is teaching the word of the lord all right this time there was a time in the, in the book of acts where um the lord broke out the lord angels broke out uh peter and the apostles out of the prison so they could continue to teach man all right and if he did it then he's gonna do it again and we have faith in that all right so real quick let's go to um Isaiah, 
Let's say a 13 real quick. And uh, what's the other screenshot? I was just thinking of. I was Isaiah 13. I have to slip my mind on the other one. Let's read Isaiah 13. All right, and it says Isaiah 13 and 2. It says, "Lift up ye a banner upon a high mountain." And what's that banner that we lifting up? It's the word. All right, we're lifting it up, and we're causing problems in this society. All right, exalt the voice unto them, and that's what we were doing when we go out on the highways and byways. We're teaching. We're we're we're, we're bringing that that energy. All right, and shake the hand when we get into it, man. We're cursing this devil out for the wickedness that he's done on the planet Earth. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. How are we going to get to the gates of the nobles? Are we going to ride? Are we going to take a road trip and do a GMS in transit on the way to the gates of the nobles? And then curse him out and then go in and then he talk to us? No. A lot of that's going to be us through um, through traveling in the back of um, in, uh, Humvees and police carriers and paddy wagons or however you want to describe it. All right, that's how we're going to get to the gates of the nobles. We're going to get escorted. All right? So that we got, so we can curse this devil out through the spirit. All right, all right. And I'm gonna close up. I got one more scripture, just for 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 the, for for from the sincere men that may have a little streak of um, fear in them. Okay, and it's okay because that's natural. All right, we're all humans, but you gotta you gotta you gotta meditate on these things and think that and real and get to realize that this is this could happen to some of us matter of fact it will happen to some of us some of us all right so let's go back into the book of ecclesiasticus good chapter if you if if you've been in this truth and you haven't read this man i don't know what to tell you and if you're a young brother you need to get acquainted with ecclesiastes the second chapter all right this is ecclesiastes 2 And I'm going I'm to read down. I'm going to start at 6 and read down, all right? It says, believe in him and he will help thee. All right? This is all about faith, man. All right? Having faith will get you out of the worst con possible conditions ever. All right? Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way all right, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercies and go not aside lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him and your reward shall not fail. What is that reward? Salvation. All right. Verse nine. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for the everlasting joy and mercy. Verse 10. Here's the point. Or this is one of the points. Look at the generation of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You see that? Not one. All right. From the from 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 uh, Daniel being thrown in the lion den um, to Meshach, uh, Abednego, and I forget the other uh, the other brother's name that was thrown in that fire. All right, and they didn't even burn. And, they, and all right, and um, um, multiple accounts. Okay, from uh, the apostles getting locked up and um, should the apostles getting locked up in 9/11 and believing and having faith and being delivered out of that. To the apostles of old, Apostle Peter and them getting locked up and getting thrown into prison. And um, the angels breaking them out of the prison. All right. Multiple accounts. All right. Your fear levels are supposed to be uh, subdued by your faith because you read and you trust. All right. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering and very pity, pit pitiful. And forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and sinners that go both ways. See, more and more situations like this are going to pop up. Okay? Where it's going to be more fears of, of possible situations occurs with, with run-ins with police. But you got to be like, fuck it, man. Alright? Put that pressure back on the Lord, man. Put your, By having faith, it, it takes the pressure off of you. Because it's like, hey... I'm I'm a servant. I'm doing exactly what the kid, what my my master asked of me. It's on him to protect me. All right. All right. So, like I said, I don't want to make this too long. I just want to read a few scriptures um, and just say, hey, man, we in those times, man. All right. And like the brothers in the video quoted, this, you know, the brother Tazwam said, we in the heat of the fight, man. All right. So if you if you feeling like it's getting too real, it's too hot in the kitchen. The time now is to get hot, get out, man. Get out, 
go 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 back into the world prepare um go fly around and go go lead the country whatever you got to do man but but we we in the belly of the beast and we standing toe to toe with the beast all right so with that i'm gonna close up and say shalom